Good afternoon, good morning, good night. I'll just show you. Oh, sit up. <laughs> Welcome to the episode of Skylight. Well, let's take you on that journey. All right, right now. Right now. Are you ready? Ready? Three, two, one. I'm Mick and this is Dim, and we're two crazies on this wild journey of life. We study, love, and explore this I earth full time, and now we've bought a van. Join us while we flip it on its head and turn it into a home every Sunday. So this is what you would see if you were a bird. But you're not. But you're not a bird, you're a human, so you'll see. I hope you're a human. This side. If you're making it in Australia, because these are made in Australia by TRA Australia, north of Brisbane actually. Really great. Great service, fast delivery, one day. I bought it on <laughs> Thursday and I got it on Friday. It will be one of our last holes that we cut into the van and it's gonna go right above our bed. But the things that make it hard are the corrugations in the roof, yeah. so the bumps on the roof. Then you gotta work with that a bit. Because you can't get this so. flattened and waterproof it. So you have to somehow work out how to flatten it. Correct. Correct. Which is what we're gonna show you today. Correct. How to flatten your roof. How do you start, you might ask. I'm asking the same question. Timmy, how must we start? We must start with a dance. Oh. I can tell what Dim had for lunch. <laughs> you have chocolate all over your mouth. You're That's not my up. lunch. We are going to disconnect your landline and internet oh, for no. 24 hours as the NBN services are now. The key to starting is not getting distracted like Dim and I. So you can go straight to creating a cardboard template of the skylight. So we've taped our template to the roof and now I'm just drawing a trace around. And then we're gonna drill pilot holes on the inside of the line and then cut it out. Yeah. I thought it was even metal. <laughs> so we've got a bigger drill bit now. Bada bing, bada flip and boom. So, once you've drilled your holes, all you gotta do is have a good clearance above the roof of your van and get up and jump through it. I taped and traced over the pilot holes, then did some measurements to make sure it was all dandy. And then we cut out the hole with a jigsaw. After we cut out the hole, we filed down the edges just to make sure it was all smooth. So what we've done is we've cut the hole, we've adjusted it. <laughs> We've adjusted it a little bit. It fits. Only thing is, obviously, it's not going all the way down because of these corrugations. So what I'm about to do now is um, put a line on the actual metal where I need to crimp back to, and I'll explain a bit more on that later. Oh, Patricia, the cleaner. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do here with an angle grinder, try to have a guard on it, cut some relief cuts. So I've lined out where the flange sits and then once we cut those lines, I'll crimp it. Time to cut. Wish me luck. I'm scared. Let's hope that works. Set of multi-grips. Uh, all I'm doing after the relief cuts have been done, as you can see here, I'm just pressing it down. So flattening the roof and this corrugation with it. Just like that. It's not pretty, but it's necessary. <laughs> anyway. Sigaflex 221, uh, the best, I think they say it's the best for these conversions. So what we're doing is we're sandwiching I could have done it earlier. Mickey had a great idea to sandwich sticker in there as an extra layer. So I'm gonna get some sticker out now. And just put sticker all through and in. Now for the trusty rust guard. 
So after using the multi grips to flatten the corrugations, um, we've inserted the skylight and it fits mostly. We might need to flatten this side out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. It works. <laughs> Ah, oh, good morning. Good morning. We did not finish the skylight yesterday. Um, we called it a night, later in the afternoon, just because there was too much to do and we had to go for a trip to Bunnings and get another piece of wood. But yeah, we're gonna finish it today. So here we go, another day, another day of skylight. So what I'm doing here is I'm building a frame just a simple rectangle frame for the interior trim of the skylight. You've got the roof here, the skylight on top, and then there's a bracket that comes down and latches on and pulls the skylight down. And you want it to sandwich with a bit of bread. So for that, I'm using H3 treated pine. This is a Craig jig. It will save your life. So. Just drills in sideways to the wood. There you go. That's my explanation. Yeah, pretty much. So pretty much all you do now is you just put a screw through and it comes out perfectly in the center and makes a good joint. Interpretive dancing? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna stick her. Place the skylight in, and now we're just gonna pull it in and sandwich it with this frame that we've made. So it's gonna sandwich it onto the roof, which is gonna actually hold our sicker down. We've just clamped the skylight frame onto the roof with, we call these little nipples, but they come with the skylight. So now we're just going up the top and we're gonna do an extra layer of sicker around it because of course this is on the roof so it needs to be super, super waterproof. So we plan to let that dry for maybe 24 hours. Um, and then we're going to undo these clamps and take the wooden frame off and stick it on the inside of the van. And then we're gonna put the frame back on and clamp it back up and then hopefully it will be 100, 200, 300% waterproof. That's us done for today and we'll probably do the rest tomorrow, I guess. is another layer of sicker on the top, a sicker layer underneath, and then I've also sickered the frame to the roof as well, up in here. So it should all be watertight, lots of sicker to dry. Once that is all done, I'll put the hatch on and try it out. Big deal. It's the final peel. Do you like the rhyme? Oh, it's actually really clean. <laughs> 